Hello students, let us discuss the concept of hybridization in water and ammonia. First, let us talk about water. In water molecule, the central atom is oxygen. So, we need to write the ground state electronic configuration for oxygen. That is 2s2, 2p4. Two electrons are there in 2s and there are four electrons in 2p orbital. Since in this, uh, in the ground state itself, uh, there are two unpaired electrons. And we know that uh, in the water, two hydrogen atoms are there. So, already two unpaired electrons are there, that is singly occupied electrons are there. So, there is no need of excitation in this case. That means, it does not involve the promotion of electron. So, from these orbitals, that is S orbit and the 3p orbit undergoes hybridization. It get hybridized to form 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. How it is sp3? Because 1 s orbit and 3 p orbits are getting hybridized. Therefore, we can say that 4 atomic orbitals are getting hybridized. So, it results in the formation of 4 hybrid orbital that is sp3 hybrid orbit. So, there are formation of 4 sp3 hybrid orbit. These sp3 hybrid orbitals Adopt a tetrahedral structure as shown here. Once again, I will tell here the atomic orbitals get combined to form four sp3 hybrid orbitals, which is shown here. From this, the two hybrid orbitals, that is this and this, this one will be having a paired electron. So these electrons are actually lone pairs, and uh, there are two or orbitals that is hybrid orbital having single electron. So, these orbitals um, overlap with the 1s orbital of um, hydrogen. It result in the formation of sigma bond. So, in the molecule there is a formation of sigma bond. Since sp3 hybridization, so the geometry is tetrahedral. So, when you make the geometry for water from out of 4 hybrid orbital, the 2 are forming the bond and the other two are actually the forming they are the lone pairs they remain here as lone pairs so two electrons are present that is remaining as a lone pair so this is the structure of a water molecule why it have a bend shape because of lone pair lone pair repulsion which is greater than lone pair bond pair repulsion which is greater than bond pair bond pair repulsion so, the angle is not 109.5 degree, it is reduced to 104.5 degree. So, that is the hybridization in water, that is sp3 hybridization. Let us talk about ammonia. In the case of ammonia, central atom is nitrogen. When we write down the ground state electronic configuration, that is ns2, np3. It belongs to group 15. So, NS2, NP3, particularly we are writing the electronic configuration for nitrogen that is 2S2, 2P3. 1S we are not taking here because we are only concerned with the valence electrons here. So, when you look at the ground state configuration, already there are 3 single electrons that is unpaired electrons. 3 unpaired electrons are present already. and it forms bond with 3 hydrogen. So, already 3 singles are there. So, here there is no excitation or we can say there is no promotion of electrons in this case. So, we are not writing any excited state. S orbital and 3 p orbitals are undergoing hybridization. It results in the formation of 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. It results in the formation of 4. Why it is 4? Because how many atomic orbitals are combining? That is 1s and 3p are combining. So, it results in the formation of 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. These 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals adopt a tetrahedral geometry as shown in the figure here. So, from the 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals, one of the orbital 
is having a lone pair that is shown here lone pair in the diagram also we can represent one of the sp3 hybrid orbital that is actually lone pair and the three hybrid orbitals it will share its electron with three hydrogen by overlapping with its atomic orbital that is oneness so there is a formation of sigma bond due to the head to head overlapping of sp3 sp3 hybrid orbit of nitrogen with the oneness orbital of hydrogen so this is the structure for ammonia so in short how we make the ammonia structure like this so there is a formation of three sigma bonds here that is one is here 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 so there are three sigma bond so from the structure what is clear that the hybridization of nitrogen in ammonia is sp3 hybridization so these are the two important cases that is water and ammonia in which there is a lone pair so this is a uh, both having sp3 hybridization but still their angle is different why it is different because in the case of water there are two lone pair but in the case of ammonia there is only single lone pair so in water lone pair lone pair repulsion is taking place which is greater and in ammonia lone pair lone pair repulsion is not there only lone pair bond pair and bond pair bond pair repulsions are there so because of this reason only we can say that even though water and ammonia have same geometry same hybridization that is sp3 hybridization and tetrahedral geometry but still their angle is different that is due to the reason in water two ammonia is the, sorry in water two lone pair are there but in ammonia only single lone pair are there so this is the we have done the explanation for hybridization in ammonia and water so this is all about this video have a nice day